Welcome everyone today, or tonight. Always when you want to go to bed, right? Always. <laughs> Always. So it's 12 a.m. and this is going to be my most anticipated litter of the year. Well, I was hoping that Sophie would have babies, but it, I, I don't know what's happening with her and Bond. Bond has been wrapped around her, having fun with her all the time. As you can see, they're probably... Oh no, I separated them to feed. But she doesn't seem like she's pregnant. It's still a possibility, but I, I don't think she's pregnant. This year, I only did three. Uh, we had one from Athena, and it didn't turn out that well. And I haven't posted that video yet, but this is the most excited one because I put my Moon Glow IMG to a normal female. And this is gonna be basically the proof that my Moon Glow is IMG. Putting him to Nova the Sun Glow, I've had all these amazing babies. I'm pretty sure this is a super Sun Glow IMG. But because I haven't had any normal IMGs, I haven't been like 100%, I'm like 95%. So this litter is going to basically tell us. I barely looked in. I still am going to have to remove her first. She's my biggest boa right now. So we're going to remove her from the babies. We're going to take a look at them together. And hopefully we got a pile of IMGs. Oh, she's, she seems like she's a sweet snake. So I've never taken babies from this one either. Oh, please be nice. It's okay. And she is pet albino. We got snows or moon glows in there. Is that what you were hoping for? I want IMGs, that's what I want. I don't know if I see any IMGs. Well, just get her out first. Okay. I just, I don't know if she's gonna be in a, in a not nice mood. What are you waiting for? Do it! <laughs> just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! She, she seems like she's okay. Oh, okay. Papa is a bite master. Just putting her there for now. Yeah, she was nice. Very. How would you even know right away? Well, we'll, we'll wait and see until after this shit, I guess. But dun, 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 dun. She did prove out to be hit snow. So we got some. This one's not alive, I don't think. Is it still born? Is it born? See, sometimes you get some dead animals. So that's one still born. There's some that are like, look at how tiny that one's head is. I don't know. Look at how tiny this one's face is. See? See, it's just like I don't know if. Yeah, these guys probably won't last. That. They'll go to Pearl. <laughs> well, it might make it. You didn't end up making it. I thought she'd probably have a lot more. Let's see how many we got. We got another. It always stinks when it's like. Ugh. See this one too. And it looks like we have three stillborns. But I think it is her first litter, even though she's like eight years old. I'm pretty sure that one won't make it. But the others should. Oh, 
Oh, it's just, it's just a nice looking snake. Sun glow, right? Yeah, it's a sun glow. The sun glows are actually my favorite, I think, out of. No, they're not. Like, no, like out of just like the basic like jeans and whatever, like I like sun glows more than moon glows, I think. Okay, so it's the next day, and I'm very excited to share with you that my moon glow IMG is a moon glow IMG. I wasn't 100% sure about it until now. Like, I was like 95% sure, but without seeing like a dark IMG, it was kind of messing with me. I've paired him to a Annery Motley, and that was gonna prove it for sure, and she basically slugged out. And I paired him to another snake. She slugged out and had stillborn, so I had one ba really bad litter last year and then I had a bad litter this year already and this was kind of like I wouldn't normally breed a normal female but she was hit snow and I figured this would be the way to prove that he's IMG so we do have some IMG babies in here lots of them don't have the head cross so when you see IMGs you normally see a strong head cross so not seeing that kind of had me doubting and questioning. Let's take a look at some of these, okay? Uh, the ones that I believe for sure are IMG. And you look at this one over here. And we're gonna, we're gonna take a better look at them after they have their, uh, their shed. You can see in the sides all the, the dark color. So when it sheds, that should look all more black and then with each shed, it should get more and more black. But if you look at his head, we don't have that head cross. And who knows, maybe, maybe it'll develop later. When I first looked at them, I, I didn't really think I saw any, but then investigated them a bit last night. This one to me is the one that kind of stood out the most. And uh, you can see the IMG pattern is almost like a, uh, it's, it's almost like a, like a salmon that's more bold, thicker. You can see the, uh, the color bleeding on the sides. So there was a, uh, a video that Chai Town Constrictor made about IMGs. And I think that's probably the most uh, popular video for identifying IMGs, but no one has really made a video explaining how to identify them in albinos, and that's made this journey really tricky. And I've asked lots of people, but no one seems to really give me a definite answer. You always get kind of like, look at the eyebrows and the pattern and it's just you, you kind of got to look and guess and it makes everything tricky because you don't want to sell something as an IMG if it's not but I look at this and this one's IMG but it doesn't have it doesn't have that head cross <clears throat> but it definitely has the IMG pattern and the color bleeding on the sides when you have hypo in with IMGs, you have IMG, which is increased melanistic gene. It's gonna make it have more pattern. It's gonna make it darker. It's gonna have all these, you see the uh, dark lines across the side. So over time, that darkness will grow more and more. But when you have hypo, then you end up having a gene that cleans things up. So now you have two genes that do the opposite thing. You have IMG, which is making things darker. And then you have hypo, which is cleaning it up and actually kind of fighting the IMG. And I like that because then you end up with a snake that's gonna be more contrast and it's not gonna end up going all black. And I kind of like when it has the super black spots but then also the light spots. So you end up with that nice contrast of really lights and really darks. Some of these we'll have to wait for them to shed a few times for it to stand out more. And the other thing is with with hypos, it fights it. And with my other litter, I put together 
a sun glow, het moon glow, to a moon glow IMG. So they all came out albino. Some of those are supers. So the supers are going to be extra orange, and the or the supers are going to be extra pigmented. And the IMG is also going to do the same thing. So it's it makes it extra tricky because I don't know if I'm looking at a super or if I'm looking at a IMG. But with these, look at this albino. There's no super in there. So everything that kind of makes it crazy, and I'm going to have to show you them again after they shed, but you just look at the... Uh, you look at the craziness in the pattern, all those whites, all the kind of chaos, and IMG does that. But once again with these, I'm gonna wait for them to shed a few times before saying for sure. I've also had some animals that kind of look like this that aren't IMG. You gotta wait for it to shed a few times to really see. But you, you can see all that like extra dark pigment in the sides. None of these have that head stamp going across their head and that's really been that's really been what's messed with me and obviously they don't all have it just some of them do look at that side like all that side bleeding color with the snows and the moon glows it's it's extra hard but in general, the um, IMGs will have like white tails, so you'll, you'll end up seeing that the tail is really white and that the face is really white. Like this is a super clean moon glow, but I'm not sure if it's an IMG. So see when this sheds, if all that pigment starts getting darker with each shed, then I know that's IMG. Oh, I look like a bag of poop because I didn't sleep properly. I didn't film the whole process of like cleaning them and cleaning the mom and everything, but if you do want to see the whole process I go through when I have babies, check out the first video. Uh, otherwise, check out the second video.